Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Justin Dickmeyer from engineeringtrainingexam.com. And in this video, we're going to discuss circles. So let's start out by recalling the distance formula. Let's take the point, say, x, y, and x1, y1. The distance formula tells us that the distance between these two points, d, d is equal to x1 minus x squared plus y1 minus y squared, all under a square root. Now a circle, or the equation in a circle, is just a reiteration of the distance formula all the way around. It is telling us that each point on the outside of a circle is a fixed distance r from a central point hk. So let's call xy here our central point hk. Let's call our d our set radius, so d is equal to r. And we can rewrite this equation to say that r, the fixed radius distance uh, between hk and any point on a circle is actually x1 minus h squared plus y1 minus k squared, all under square root. To see this in the standard form or in a form that we're more uh, used to seeing, all we need to do is square both sides. So by doing that, we get r squared is equal to, let's get rid of the x1 and y1. Let's just call them xy, uh, representing any point xy on the outside of a circle. So r squared is equal to x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. So this right here is going to be our lovely equation, standard form equation for a circle. So this is the standard form. In this form, we very quickly can see what the radius is, and we can also see what the center of the circle is, which is going to be located at hk, whatever those two numbers are. So let's look at a quick example here and just illustrate how we can go about defining the equation of a circle. Say we're given a, a circle with a radius of 8. And let's say that we're told that the center of that circle is located at negative 4, 7. So let's just recall that this term negative 4, 7, the point negative 4, 7 is our hk in our standard equation and this of course is our r. So once again restating the standard form it's r squared is equal to x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. And this is very simple. All we need to do is plug in our uh, all the given information. We got 8 squared is equal to x minus negative 4 squared plus y minus 7 squared. So this ultimately plays out to be, uh, let's see, x plus 4 squared plus y minus 7 squared is equal to 64. So this is an equation that's telling us that uh, the circle is located at negative 4, 7 and has a radius of a square root of 64, which is 8. So let's look at another example here. Let's say, on the other hand, we're given the equation of a circle and we're asked to find the center and also the radius of that circle. Let's say that we're given uh, the equation, um, let's go with x squared plus y squared plus 8x plus 7. 
Now, when we first glance at the, this equation, we, we obviously hope that it's going to already be in the standard form so we can quickly just uh, pick out uh, the necessary information that we need, which is the radius and the center of the circle. But in this case, obviously it is not, so we do have a little work to do. So the first step, or the first two steps, is to first get the constant on the right side of the equation and also group the terms together, group the x and the y terms together. So uh, to do that we get x squared plus 8x plus y squared is equal to negative 7. So the next step is for each variable with two terms we need to complete the square of those terms. And we look on the left side here and see that x is the only term that, or the only um, the only variable that has two terms. So that is the only variable that we need to complete the square of. So let's recall to complete the square. What we do is we take uh, half the coefficient of x and square it. So we'll go eight divided by two squared, which is equal to four squared which is equal to 16. So now what we do is add that uh, we add this term to both sides of the equation. So we get x squared plus 8x plus 16 plus y squared is equal to negative 7 plus 16. So that what that is uh, if we just uh, let's see now we can go ahead on this right side and uh, just do this calculation real quick. We got 9. And on the left side here, now we can factor the x term such that it's equal to x plus 4 squared plus y squared, which is also equal to y minus 0 squared is equal to 9. So now we have our equation, the same equation here. Now we have it in the standard form of a circle and we can quickly determine what hk is and we can also determine what the radius is. So looking at this we know that hk, the center of the circle, is going to be located at negative 4, 0 and that the radius of the circle is uh, the square root of 9 which is also equal to 3. So the answer to this, this, this problem is if we're asked, given the, an equation, we're asked to determine the center as well as the radius, uh, we can just simply um, put it into the standard form, pick out the necessary information, and answer the question. So that's it, guys. That's all I got for you today. Quick recap of circles. Um, if you guys have any more questions or suggestions or any other tutorials you want to see, go ahead and visit my site at engineerandtrainingexam.com. Either subscribe and get the uh, free EIT preparation boot camp that I got, or go ahead and contact me through the contact form. Either or, just shoot me your suggestions, your feedback. Just let me know how everything's going here, if you guys are getting what you need. Um, my concern is that you guys are at least getting a little bit of value out of each one of these videos. And... Uh, you know, that's what I aim to do is just help you guys out in your preparation. So anyways, that's it for today. Uh, you guys take care and we'll be talking soon. All right. Bye.